I love my hands are like bowls. Whether I'm in Australia playing with my Dreamline XGs or playing in the Northern Hemisphere winning two gold medals with my Tiger Bowls, I know I feel confident and comfortable with the line and I know they'll get the job done. The Morewell Bowling Club is your place for fun and food. Come and try bowls and make new friends. Have coffee or bring the family for lunch or dinner. The Morewell Bowling Club. Visit us today on Hazelwood Road. Good evening and welcome to day eight of the Victorian Open. Um, evening session, it's about 10 past five local time and we are here for our first final of the 2024 Vic Open, the women's triples cracker of a game in store. And I'm joined by one of our ambassadors, Selena Goddard. Evening, Selena, how are we? Hello, I'm very good, uh, happy to be here, really excited to be watching this triples final. Yep. You know more of one side because you're playing in the past that we cast. Um, but we've got some local ladies in the opposition. So I'll run through the teams. Um, so we have Julie Simpson leading here um, with Marge Nathan second. And Joe Martin, superstar from Painesville slash Lakes Entrance. We sat at Painesville now, but we all know her from her Lakes Entrance days. And they're going up against the younger combo of Liv Slade from Lilydale, Liv Cartwright from Moama, and the one and only Cass Millerick. Um, so it should be a cracker. 15 ends, two ball triples, no time limit for this final. And live just a bit quick. So these um, two teams have come from Taralgon today. They've been playing there all day to make their way through to the final. Um, obviously the live stream equipment is down at Morwell, so they've made the trip down there. Big difference between the group two green Selena, you've played on them both. Yeah, a wee bit of a difference. I would say that here at Morwell we're on the, uh, we call this the slower green I guess, yeah. but it is a wee bit quicker than the Trialgan one. Yeah, okay. I think you get a little bit more turn here as well on your bowls naturally as you would um, with it being a little bit quicker. So look, I wouldn't be surprised if it takes the girls, um, you know, a few ends to just yeah. work their way in. Um, you know, they are only human as much as you would like in a final to jump <laughs> on the jack. Um, that's not always the case sometimes. Yeah, there'll be a few nerves knocking about as well. I mean, making a final of anything's always tough. Anything you do to conquer the nerves in the big moments, or do you just try and believe that all the prep you've done to get you there is going to hold you in good stead? Yeah, oh, pretty much, eh? Like, we just sort of talk about coming back to zero, so as much as you, you know, want to tell yourself that it's just another game, definitely acknowledge that it's a final, yep. but once you can switch into, I guess, you know, your processes, your mode, um, what is the thing you do every time before you play a bowl and after you play a bowl, then you very quickly kind of forget um, the external factors behind the game that you're playing. Yeah, cool. I like that. I like the coming back to zero analogy. It's good. Yeah, I think it's... um. Actually, personally, it's something I've been working on um, while I've been here, to be fair. Um, yeah, okay. I've played a lot of games on carpet, but... Shot from Liv. Beautiful ball. But as you find, the carpet also moves and changes yep. um, as the day changes. So as, if you played a good game on, say, what are we, what are they on? Week seven, seven, yeah. Um, it's probably different today than it was yesterday. So you've got to kind of start fresh and go from there. And we've moved the rinks half halfway down today as well just to mix it up a bit so um, you are right it's completely different when they go Marge Nathan going to a good home behind the jack so both of those just passed Liv just looking to add another I've heard some whispers that um, well probably more so yesterday when we were qualifying um, Olivia was on fine form. yeah right yeah drawing a lot of close shots so not surprising to see her just sneak in yeah good enough Joe Martin the skip against her. She's a uh, very experienced player. They're holding three. Will the um, Cass Millerick's rink now? We see her a lot. Uh, Joe Martin, Selena. She makes it. So she's from the Gibson region with 16 regions in Victoria, and um, she seems to always find her way to our state champions week. Many she's won a region title. Um, always see her there. She always goes good in every event. Um, she came back from the absolute clouds in the last game. I think she picked up six in the last wow. two ends to win the game. Wow. So. They'll be riding a high coming into this final. I was going to say, she looks like she knows what she's doing. She looks very relaxed yep. um, and in control um, yep. of the situation so far. She's having a hunt for this bowl of Olivia. Is to sit it through the head. What a start from Joe Martin. What a start. Grabs the shot. 
and gives Cass some work to do. She played a couple of days straight, pretty much with Cass in the pair. She's in good form too. Yeah, she is. I mean, Cass is Cass, right? Like, she's so solid. She's so chill. Um, yeah, just really happy to be able to play another game with her. Yeah. To be fair, that's sort of just our goal. We've been having a great time. Yeah, she um, went good in pretty much every event she played, and obviously here in the triples final, still with you alive in the pairs. Just nipped out yes, a couple of days ago now. Sorry, in the in the singles, um, pretty good with the mixed pairs with Kevy too. Yeah, that's sort of standard from your consistent quality players, right? They, mm -hmm. you know, you definitely can't win them all, but you can very much end in the pointy end of events. Yeah, you're still left in two. Are you in singles and pairs? Yes, yeah, correct. Yep, so pairs tomorrow and then singles Thursday. Right, it's Cass got in reply to that absolute bomb from Joe Martins before. She's on a similar line to what Joe was on. Just needing it to hold, but a little bit of turn there. So it'll be a want to kick us off to Joe Martin and her crew. Just a reminder, 15 ends. And no time limit in this final. No. So Julie Simpson to kick us off. We've seen her on the live stream a few times before over the years. She's um, gone deep in over 60s event uh, last year, I believe, in Bendigo. She plays a fair bit with uh, Joe Martin too. Change of mark for you, Selena. Change of mark. Okay, let's hope. I'm coming in loud and clear now. Uh, you know, sometimes I'm like, is it the accent? You know, because <laughs> there has been a few translation issues <laughs> the last week. It's all right, man. If they can understand me, I reckon you already you already won ahead. Yeah, we're really putting on a challenge here for the uh, Australian base that is probably largely listening in. Yeah, we might get Kevy in. <laughs> uh, good start again from, uh, well, sorry, good start from Julie on that one. That's Liv Slade with a pretty good reply. It's pretty much you want from your lead. You in agreement with me and JT, Selena, that two bowl triples is a very lead-dominated game? Oh, absolutely. I think that... Uh, yeah. I think, you know, with leads, and this is a really funny way to put it as well, such a, I guess, modest position because you can find that, um, yeah, you can find that leads can ultimately win you some games, but if they're having a tough game, they can make it really difficult to try and come back in the game as well if they're just yeah. falling on the line a wee bit. So, you know, if you can get a lead that has really good weight control, you're always going to be in the hunt or, you know, you're probably not going to drop a huge number as well. Yeah, I spoke about that in... I think it was Matty Flapper, Phil Crater's game earlier when they were chasing shots. And because Phil Crater's lead was so good, they they just couldn't build heads to make numbers. Mm. There was, they, they, they were literally trying to move Jack in to ridiculous places just because the lead just had balls around the head and there was nothing they could do. Yeah, especially when you come across a lead that is really good at falling on the centre line. Mm. Because all of a sudden, when you just can't see that Jack, you've just got to bring in another element of visualisation and it just makes it that little bit harder and you feel like you have to be perfect. This is a good sign for Cass Millerick because Liv Cartwright is off to a good start. Right, I think we've fixed your mic now, Selena. Perfect. This is just playing musical mics. Got found the right one. Got some men's triples semi-finals kicking off as well. A um, couple of rinks down from here. So Phil Crowder mentioned earlier going up against Jason Silvieri. We've got Daniel Joyce and Stan Slawinski. So a couple of Mornington Peninsula region sides in there in the mix and a couple of metro ones as well so as we like to see a sort of city versus country battle there so we'll keep you updated with the scores on that if you do want to get an end by end coverage we are live scoring so jump through the bowls now app um, jump into the game and you'll get the scorecard from there we're looking to sneak past these front two but going to run into them so if you just joined us or need a reminder these uh Two teams have come from Taralgon today, so um, as we mentioned, might take an end or two to warm up. We noticed yesterday, I think on the third stream game, um, 
which was Tash Van Aldick's ring kick against Heidi O'Reilly's. They did take a few into the warm, but they've been mm. on the back range about 16 seconds and a fair bit wider than this. Um, it did take them a bit of time to adjust. So, Joe Martin was down when she went to the head with the first bowl the last end and managed to find the shot. She, she's going to hold enough with this one. Fair size for her though, good weight. She's probably a foot short. I wonder sometimes if um, you can see obviously um, on the stream the sun coming through yep. the air. I wonder, you know, if it does play with anyone's eyes or as it moves as well throughout the afternoon. If um, just changes how you see things. It's got to be another extra factor, right? I reckon it definitely changes parts of the green. If, if anyone knows how to play with sun in their eyes on an undercover, though, it will be these Cass Mellerick and Liv Cartwright because Moama is about 4 p.m. in the afternoon. Yeah. Like you've never seen sun like that. It's, it bounces off. Have you been to Moama? Yes. It bounces off the roof into the green. Yeah. It's chaos. <laughs> what a shot this is from Joe Martin. Good effort. Might have grabbed it if she falls against the bias. Got a marker on the rink, Neil Smiley. And Liv, we don't even need him because Liv's telling us that that last bowler's grab shot. What a start from Joe Martin. That gives you front end confidence if your skip is just... Oh, uh, yeah, it old. does. I think as well when your skipper plays a good one and if you're leading, yeah, or as you said, at the front end, it kind of just makes you want to lift, right? Yeah. Cass is just drifting with that one. Julie in the way of the camera, so... Reminder on the way past, but I think she's realised there. It might be another one, so 2 0 after a couple of ends. So, have you enjoyed your first Vic Open? Good experience? Oh, it's been awesome, eh? Um, in New Zealand, we don't have a New Zealand Open, but we've got our New Zealand Nationals, and that is open uh, yeah. for anyone to enter. Uh, but it's it's kind of, I guess, like a mini festival. We've yeah. got singles and pairs, and then later in the year we have uh, fours and mixed pairs. And so we're playing in the Vic Open, you know, you've got plenty of events that you can yeah. play in. Um, personally, a bit of a standout for me was um, how you've got your one day qualifying, and if you're not successful in that but are really hungry for some more bowls, there's supporter events mm -hmm. you can play in. And, like, not only as a bowler do I appreciate that you can have that opportunity, but actually in the sense of the smaller clubs that you can go visit and mm -hmm. contribute to as well. So, I mean, yeah, if you're here, if you're a bowls lover and you're really keen for, a, you know, a week or a couple of weeks on the green, um, an open event like this is honestly what you'd be dreaming mm. for. So, um, yeah, and then also my, I guess, my first time playing in Victoria and spending a decent time here. And honestly, I can say the people are just so incredibly friendly. Everyone's been so welcoming. Um, really high competition, yep. really quality bowls. So for me, um, like for what I wanted to get out of it was just to play um, against some quality bowls, um, playing with completely new teammates. Yep. Um, you know, all that to just sort of help my game. And look, the bucket is full. It's, awesome. Yeah, That's good. That's awesome. great. Yeah. That's a big wrap. Absolutely. No, um, the support events you mentioned have been great. We had one yeah. today, but we've had oh, we've averaged around sort of 16, 18 teams at them, which is, which yeah, is good. Yeah, great. Green or two, so it's been good. Well, you do find, you know, you find different people that enter in these events for different reasons, right? Like you get your very mm. competitive ones that are, you know, the, the W is the only thing <laughs> I want. Um, and then you do get your people who are like, look, it's, you know, I've only been playing a couple of years. I just want to get some more bowls into my belt. And um, that's where those events, um, you know, might might fulfill um, those people too. So, awesome. yeah, no, very good. We had a couple of youngsters win uh, the Warrigal one, Heaton Harris, um, two brothers. One was one, one is age 10 and one's about wow. 15. So, oh, look out. Great stuff from them. Yep. So, Cass given a couple of options to live. Evening, Lockie. Yeah, the uh, old man, he's still going. He's 1 0 up after one end thus far in the men's triples over there. Him, uh, Stan Slowinski's rink. So, Liv got enough speed on this. I think it's just going to pull up to that sort of pack. And Marge Nathan. Also from the Painesville Bowls Club. Beautiful part of the world. And Victoria there is Painesville.
I think they're building pretty good heads for Joe here. I mean, they've been one down, or a couple down every end, but she's found a bowl, but they're grouping them pretty well. Yeah, just finishing in good places, eh? Like, sometimes the way that heads are built, you know, the, the best outcome sometimes is not actually getting the number one shot. It's just making it a bit easier for your skipper or the person coming after you. If you can do that, then they can play those, you know, those honey shots quite easily. Well, we say easily, but <laughs> um, they're all hard. Um, <laughs> but it looks a little bit better. Yeah, it's, it can be a massive mental game, bowls. I think it's a lot up in the in the head. And I think if, yeah, if you're not in the way, that's a start. Just, yeah. just get out of the way <laughs> of the skip. It's, it's a positive start. And then if you can... Get them into fruitful positions from there. Definitely makes their life easier. We've seen today, especially, a skip burn for the start of a game and go real good. Mm. And they've probably come off a little bit towards the middle and end, but because they burnt so hard at the start, mm. it's almost put their team in an unassailable position. So yes. Joe will be hoping that trend continues in this one because she's pretty close again. Gets an edge of that ball yeah. and will roll him for a second shot. Yeah, she's on fire in these first few ends, isn't she? Mm hmm. What's Cass doing? Forehand, or is she going to try and land that ball on the backhand? Ah. Oh. Oh, backhand? Yeah, I agree. Watch us be wrong. I, I think that's the easier shot. It's less yeah. traffic. Yeah. Just trying to. A couple more things to work with as well there if you are a wee bit tight. Just pulled a little bit there at the end, you could see. So a tricky shot to play when you, you know, you got to get back to the centre line, and there is some short stuff in the way. That's a that can be a tough shot to picture in your head sometimes as yes. well. Joe's having no trouble here again, Selena. That's the yeah, wow. Oh, that's a third. Evening, Nathan. Yes, 15 in game, mate. Um, so we're through two ends thus far. I don't know why Two is not on there. I know why the two's not on there. I've put it in the wrong part of the spreadsheet. So, ignore me. Cass Millerick. He's going to run into that one. It was already in for a shot. Live will knock out two. I think she's saying to Mars, it's all you're getting, pal. <laughs> So great start from this team from the Gippsland area. Mentioned before they were um, came back from the clouds pretty much in their semi-final win. So they picked up seven shots in the last four ends to go from 10-4 down wow. to win the game 11-10. Wow. So riding a high. Yeah, and this absolutely. is great for them to continue that by going into a four zip lead sometimes when you come from a semi-final or you know a previous game where you're spending most of the game pretty much being like right i'm in the graveyard mm. and then you come out with something like that i mean sometimes it feels like anything more from here is a bit of a bonus yep. um so yeah as you said like i wouldn't be surprised if the ladies are just going into this game riding that high just probably feeling a bit happy to be here to be fair yep. um but well deserved as well one thing I've always, as my modest bowls ability is, I, I've always envied of the of the better players, is their ability just to finish a game in a, mm. in a in a day like this where you play multiple games and just restart the next. Like I, it's an ability I've not mastered in twenty odd years <laughs> of playing bowls. Yeah. I'm still thinking about something that happened probably in the morning yeah. game. I don't know why I can't let go of it. But yep. Fair Great reply shot. from Liv. Yeah, I was lucky to uh, meet Liv and play against Liv, actually. Um, singles. First round of singles. Mm. We were like, what a stitch up <laughs> here. The first round and the whole event, and we're on our own. <laughs> first time at Traralgon. Here we go. <laughs> well, we talk of uh, Joe Martin's rink coming from, as you say, the graveyard and finding themselves in a final. The opposite is true for Cass. Um, mm. 
Liv and Olivia in that they won 28-1 in yeah, their semi-final. Wow. That's impressive. Wow. So they've been, I mean, they were 20-0 up before the opposition scored. So wow. they would have been, th they would have already been thinking about this final two hours ago. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What a feat. Sometimes you wonder, you know, you do see those scores and you don't, like, unless you watched it. Some, yeah. You know, you don't actually know the yeah, whole story. Yeah, there might have been a bit of like, luck here. Yeah, yeah. Marge looks good there. It's a welcome edge. I'll be holding a couple. And they're, they're winning these early exchanges in the last couple of ends now. I've always thought too, if, uh, especially in triples, same goes for pairs in a way. If you can leave your sort of third, fourth, uh, fifth bowl um, and sixth <laughs> as well at the beginning of a game to be more sort of draws or good weighted shots, it can help you just get a sense of the green. Yeah. Other than if your skipper is coming in hot and having to attack right away. Um, I mean, look, there's some great players out there that can probably do mm. it fairly easily, but um, I know every single time I'm asking my skipper to do a drive on the first mm. end, I feel real guilty about it. Yeah, you're allowing them no time to settle, really, eh? Huh? Yeah, that's it. Liv reaching up for this one, trying to change some it up. It's oh. what she does. Got a result there. It's kind of unfortunate though, because she's still uh, only one down now, the mark is saying, but it's probably slightly worse and harder to yeah. get for Cass, maybe. Got to be, I mean, one bold target, right? Mm. So, one bold target, nothing in front. I mean, if she can find that line to it, it's all on, but. I still think that's two. I think the marker. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I still think that pink ball. I yeah. don't know if it beats the, maybe the green and yellow. We'll trust the marker and we'll say it to one. Yeah, back him. When we say marker, I don't mean a marker like in a singles game, just a paddler <laughs> to help us. Yeah, good stuff from Joe. She hasn't missed too many... You know, she's been doing it with her first bowl too, which just puts Cass under a lot of pressure. Yep. She got the journey here. Yeah, she does. Cass Millerick. They're the frustrating bowls because that looked good for such a long way. Yeah. Picks the gap. We saw her partner come undone in the last game on the live stream. Kevy Anderson, Cam Keenan and Luke Hoskin going down to the Pretty Brothers and Jason Silvieri. It's not been a happy hunting ground, no. this particular rink for no. them. No. <laughs> Can't say I've seen them walk to the rink with a happy face <laughs> before. <laughs> and uh, yeah, Cass and Kev went down to Tash yes. Van and Scotty Bowles in the quarter final of the mixed pairs here as well that's right look redemption time for Cass you know that's what she'll be saying well how's she going here Cass wow. Miller what a shot beautiful bowl what a shot sensational bowling from both sides so far what a final what a start four ends down 4-1 That's one of Cass's specialties, right? She just plays with great weight all the time. It's the heartbreaker bowl, really. You're thinking 5 6 nil, maybe 7 nil. Uphill battle, but she uh, rescues that end for her and her team. And let's see what they do with the jack. Looks like a slightly longer end. Matt Rolt back from Liv Slade. You'd imagine these three have a distinct game plan. Oh, absolutely. They, they would have one. Absolutely. Yeah, I think you go into this. Like, I don't know. I'm a bit funky with game plans, right? Like, I'll maybe carry what I was good at from an earlier game and, you mm. know, what worked for our team. Um, but then sometimes it is a bit dictated by how your opposition is playing. And 
I mean, I'm very much for one being on the um, offence rather than defence. Yeah, you yeah. know, I want to play to my strengths. Um, what a start from Liv. Slade. Beautiful ball. And so, yeah, I, look, I wouldn't be surprised if long ends were, you know, with a start from that, from um, from Liv. She, oh, yeah, I bet they, they were doing that at Tarelgan all day. Yep. This feels a bit tight from Julie. She's another lot, Joe Martin, that has won quite a few region titles. Mentioned before, she's run up in the over 60s singles a couple of years ago. Uh, last year, I'm pretty sure. As Liv wants to get this as far down the green as she can. How do you feel about a bowling glove, Selena? I remember <laughs> those when I actually started playing the game. There were a few, fair few around, especially in New Zealand, where it gets a bit cold and wet and and everything. But uh, yeah, no, I I don't know how I would cope with one. But um, <laughs> she's very steady with it. You can, you know, I think yeah, Cass and I um, played Joe in the peers actually. Yep. Um, had a cracker of a game. So. Yeah, I'm not surprised she knows the tools that work for her. All right, Liv Cartwright trying to join Liv Slade towards the jack. Evening, Brad. We are sure you another karaoke night, pal. You organise it. I'll be there. She does add. And now probably the first time that Marge Nathan will step on the map, feeling a bit of pressure. Deliberate change of length by Olivia Liv and Cass. And it looks like it's working thus far. Well, wow. that's a tough head to get to now. Yeah, I was going <laughs> to say, it's just getting harder and harder, isn't it? Just have good weight. That's all you got to do here, and just that's hope you hope you you don't want to be too quick and hoof one in. So yeah, that's it. Good weight and try and pick a, a gap. Clear road. Well, that's just under. Good shot from Liv Cartwright. Great shot, actually. Navigated through the short bowls, holding three now. I keep going to say the girl's from Moama, but this side yeah. is from Lilydale, so her partner Cam is from yes, Moama, so that's right. two and a half, 2.5 Moama or so. She was saying she does spare a bit of her time, yeah. um, you know, at Moama, so. Yeah, that'll cut one out, possibly. Evening, Brendan. Updates in the men's triple semi-finals are happening on this green at the moment as well. Phil Crowder in his rink lead Jason Silvieri from Keylor 5-0 through three ends. And Daniel Joyce and the Stan Slowinski game 4-2 to the boys from Metro West over the goals from the peninsula through three ends. Reminder, being live scored. So jump on the uh, Bowls Now app and uh, get your end by end scoring. Cass looks to add another. She decides to not go where Liv Cartwright went. She comes the forehand. Just doesn't have the journey with this one. She laughs it off as a blocker. <laughs> She's always got a smile on her face, except when Kevy's been a bit, <laughs> bit silly, I reckon. Yeah, nothing really phases her, eh? I mean... Yeah, when we were playing the peers, there's a fair few times, like, honestly, like, we were playing good and it just wasn't happening for us. And we were just like, look, if we weren't laughing, we'd be crying. So <laughs> you just got to be easy on yourself, eh? Keep level-headed. She's always laughing. She's yeah. always got a smile. Yeah. That's why she's so good, I reckon. She's found what works for her. Yeah, been a great addition to Victorian Bowls of Kevin and Cass. More so Cass. <laughs> well, she gets one out. She's obviously playing with positivity and trying to bash her way through this head because there's not a lot of clear draw lines in. 
Don't mind it as a tactic, to be honest. Still two to cast, though. She's going to try and add another. There's probably... There is a line you can see just around these bowls on the forehand. She's tracking okay here. All on a speed. Does enough. Surely. Yeah, Marcus is three. Well, Paddler says three. Big bowl. She doesn't like it out of the hand, Selena. No. Yeah. <laughs> oh. What a sport. <laughs> nah, still three. So it'll be four a piece through uh, yeah, four a piece through five ends. So very tight affair. Selena, we'll hand over to the uh, B-grade commentary team now. JT and Tony's are coming. Thank you so much for joining us here. And thanks for being a great ambassador for this 2024 Vic Open. It's been wonderful to have you over. No, I can't wait to you. see you next year or yeah. if your schedule allows. I'm sure you're busy with bowls over there as well. Yeah, no, honestly, I'd absolutely love to come back. I just, I really hope that the times work as well with, you know, the busy calendar in New Zealand. And look, if it's an opening like it was this time round, I'll absolutely be back. Super start. Thank you so awesome. much. No, thank you. Actually, I've decided to stay. But I am joined by JT, so apologies to everyone at home. Afternoon, Jimmy. <laughs> Still afternoon as far as I'm concerned. It's a tussle, this one, mate. Four apiece, so three ends in the bank for Joe Martin and her ring. Two ends in the bank for Cass and her crew. And well, uh, I, I felt Joe was the star first three ends. Um, and then Cass played a bomb on the fourth and when they were probably two or three down. Yeah, it was, that was a huge bowl because yep. that could have been... I, I, I actually think that was three. I think the marker was missing one there. No, I knew it was two or three from mm. where I was sitting. So that could have been... That could have been... A world of pain. Yes. I mean, Selena talking about how the, the two different paths to this final JT. So, Joe Martin, as Selena put it, would have thought she was in the graveyard for most of her game. Picked up seven in the last four I, ends to win the game. I only knew reason I knew, though, in the finals when I saw him pull up because <laughs> I thought the Kiwa Valley ladies were home, yeah. to be honest. And Cass didn't it the other way. 28 1, they won theirs. Yes, uh, so, reasonably one sided. So, two different paths into the final. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we find ourselves locked to four apiece through five. I don't think any leader has absolutely nailed it yet. No. This Probably the last end live was really good that set him up on that longer end. Yeah, still some room for Marge Nathan here. She got the journey. Needs this to hurry. Not gonna... There's quite a few short bowls that last end, eh? So The was, long ends are working yeah. for the Moama girls and, and Liv Slade from Lily Dale. No, no, that's what I said. I said I kept going to call them the Moama. I know, I can, we call call the the other, can we call the other three the Gippsland girls? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they are from the Gippsland region. Yes. Two from Paynes and one from Lakes Entrance. Both beautiful parts of the world. Shot from Liv Cartwright. Yeah, good improvement on the last. It's the number one. And they'll hold two now. And Marge Nathan. It's a bit of work to do. But something Jack I to sort of visualise. She's definitely further down the green this time, JT. Whether she's going to drop in time to get to that last ball of lives. She does, but gets the wrong edge of it and pushes Liv Cartwright's ball behind the jack. It's probably made it worse. Would not look as inviting now. Correct. Joe Martin's going to have to find one out. Still 5-0 on the Crowder-Silvieri Silvieri scoreboard. 
through three ends, but all square in the one next door. So Daniel Joyce and Stan Slowinski, four apiece through four over there now. Two it's, actually, it's actually six nil to Verhagen. Okay, cool. Yep. Crowder. Well, okay. Just going off the scoreboard, Jim. But I reckon... Uh, Cass is going to another here. Yeah. I was going to say, Silveri's rink might be holding two there over there at the moment. Cass adds a third. Yeah, and Joe Martin. Ball. And no target. Mm, has some work to do here. How far is no. this going to go? Not far enough. Cass is looking awfully close again, Jimmy. It's nearly canning. Oh, turtles backwards as well, JT. Might have made a fourth. Big bowl here by Joe. Got to prove probably four feet in the last. Chances. Speed's much better, Jimmy. Chan chances here, pal. Speed is much better. They've got to clear Liv Slades. Oh. She possibly would have got second shot there, I reckon, if she'd have gone the other side of that bowl. Two out, three out, four out, and uh, Liv Cartwright will stick a measure, measure on. Evening, Brian. Um, T-shirt temperature, mate. No hoodies on. <laughs> what do you reckon? 15, 16? <sighs> Hotter than that, surely. Really? Yeah. Feels hot here. Not hot, but it's not, just all it's the, not uh, cold. All the air coming out your mouth, mate. Of course. <laughs> Silveri got three last in, Jimmy, to get on the scoreboard. Yeah, right. So, yeah, six three over there. And I threw five in that men's triples semi-final. Uh, sorry. Yeah, semi-final. This is an interesting measure. He's gone around a few times there. Mark is in the, he's definitely got at least four held up in his hand. And we'll get an umpire out. I think that's for the fifth. Yep. Between Liz Slade's bowl on the line and, and uh, Julie Simpson's bowl on the wing there. This is a big, big pickup. And Lynn Daniel, our umpire here. You're good for names, Jimmy. I'll give you that. <laughs> There's a lot of people I don't know down here. She's you, from Dandenong on Club. Well, still a lot of people I don't know down here. You did organise the event, so you should know a few more people than I did. I just roll down here and get on the comms. Lewinsky gets another one over there, Jimmy. Lena's had a great time down here, JT, she's home. She's yep. loved it. We've gone to all the different clubs. So four, this will be. Four. So that'll...
pop. Gas and her crew into an 8-4 lead. They've won three ends apiece, but it's the numbers that have hurt the Gishland team. And the last two ends, yeah. three and four. And it's when that sort of tactic has shifted the longer ends. Yep. So it's working for Cass, Liv and Olivia. Jay Saveri, I reckon he's drawn shot here, Jimmy. Could end up with a all Mornington Peninsula final over there, all going well for them. Very, very well, good. Good start from Liv, good home, good position bowl. On the head, not in front. Truly Simpson. I want to try and settle her rink if she can put a couple of bowls in early. Got a farm one here if she can, Julie, hey? Well, as I said, two bowl triples, leaders game. If one of these leaders can nail it, it sets them up for the rest of the end and the rest of the game. Better line, at least. Pretty good here. the best one. The boss, yeah? Nope, wouldn't use that word. <laughs> Great stuff from Julie. Found a ball when she needed it, when her rink needed it. Let's give Liv Cartwright some work to do now. Well. Doesn't look far away. Well. A great oh, effort great from Liv. Ball. Great second shot. Still wonder Julie Simpson, but a very good second shot there. And your back out. I've often done that with a first. I go pretty close to the second. So Marge Nathan, does she need to change the head? No, just try and get to lose the ball and flop. Mm. Let's follow her down. Don't think she's getting down though, Jimmy. Speed's good as well, I reckon, you know. Speed was good for that shot, just past. Let's see if Liv can make this one work. Cracker with a first, ball to the right. Of the two on the head. Good areas, mate. She's going to punch her own and get sideways. No, she gets it straight. <laughs> and this just replaces her last ball. Great yep. effort. Yep, no good ball. Marge is going to want to try and replicate that ball of lives. I feel like well she's again. tighter. She's definitely tighter. Marge. Oh, just a couple, four or so short, a couple of feet. Good effort, though. Did you see the signal over there in that rink over there, Jimmy? One. One. I think it was the Crowder. Has to be. 7-3, that one now. Stan Slowinski's nicked in front 5-4 five, through five ends in his semi-final. Interested. Well, she's played a couple of good bowls this way already, Jimmy, so maybe that's it. Maybe she's wary of the Jacks billing. Well, yeah, good call. The four, bo three bowls directly behind it, where she's about to land, are all uh, Cass Miller's team. She splits them up pretty well. Good shot from Joe. The positional bowl. Oh, 
Running it to Harry. What a shot from Cass. Stays with it as well. Fantastic ball. I tell you what, it makes that shot of Joe Martins before look even better now as well because there'd be a few down if she hadn't put that there. Three, according to Marge. So Mark is saying two, but Marge reckons they're three down. What a shot from Cass. Big, big work for Joe Martin to do here. And uh, like a good skip does, she'll come down and survey what she's got to do first. She's got probably two feet to draw a shot. Just trying to visualise it. She just wants to see what it's... What it is, what she's got to do, what she's got to beat. Big ball in the context of the game, this JT. Mm -hmm. She approached the halfway mark just before. Four down. After leading 4 0, she's now 8 4 down. A few down at the head here. What's Joe Martin got? On a narrow line, JT. Oh, that might help. And a double flick might help even more. Doesn't get the shot. Does she grab second shot? That's the closest ball. Need to win an end pretty soon to Joe Martin and her crew. To get, regain that momentum. Or stop the momentum and try and push for their own momentum, Jimmy. Mm. Mentioned it a couple of times now, but Cass and, the t and Liv and Olivia, 28-1 in their semi-final, so they're scoring a lot. you got to stem that. I've scored uh, 10 shots in four ends here. It's uh, better this direction. Um, yeah, fair call. Selena was saying before that the, there was, a, well, there was, the sun's obviously changed. There's a big stream of light down the middle of the green. Mm -hmm. And uh, she wondered if that changed the rink at all. Not with this needle punch, it shouldn't have. Shot from Julie. Second end in a row. She's managed to grab the shot with her last. Oh, can Liv hold her around? I think she can. Yeah, good bolt. Yeah, good shot from with Cartrock. Afternoon, Westy, and I totally agree with you. Yeah, I'm about to tap out at the end of this end, and I'm going straight to the... Do we do a double tag? Do I just do about three ends and nick off? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Make the boss man do something. Mm. Yeah, as Joe said, good speed from Marge.
Liv looks close again. She's just got to get down now. Just going to give up. Mm. Was just running out of speed. Under the head. Mm. Joe's got some work to do again here. On down. Castle get first dash at it. She can jump all over this cast. It's gonna make hard. it you make it hard. Evening Dean, big secret, mate, can't tell ya. <laughs> no, yeah, correct. <laughs> and uh, this purple and she'll go close. Does go close, but doesn't get another shot, according to Marge Nathan. She goes one down. She's just going to get under Liv's bowl. Not going to. Rolls it up. What's she catching then? It's like a, I don't know. I don't know thing. I've got no idea, yeah. honestly. I don't know how, even how, how to explain it. I would have made myself even look sillier and stupider. Evening, Jacob. If Sammy's your favourite commentator, who's second, me or JT? She remember where his bread is buttered, oh. Jacob? Oh. Great bowl. Cast on the jack. It's one to one, but I'm, I, you feel a far better one, hey? Harder to get at now, mm. and the thing is, uh, Joe can't attack because he's only got one ball there. The next four or five are all the opposition. She does attack though, mate. Oh, obviously, she doesn't think she can get it out clean. Oh, Joe Martin's close. Oh, what a shot! Gets Good it ball. out clean, and she wins a much-needed end for her and her rink. <laughs> <laughs> for 10 5. Is Jacob on that or quit? <laughs> Greg, um, no, most most undercover greens usually have a woven carpet, but for whatever reason, these two, uh, this club definitely has uh, two needle punches undercover. Yeah, I know, I'm just on that one quick. 10 5. And I am now joined by. Jacob Cartwright's favourite car uh, commentator. Don't worry, Jakey. I'm here to save the day, mate. <laughs> I'm going to remember that, Jacob. Well, they knew to that, didn't they, JT? They Stops definitely the run. Started by both leaders there. Most improved? How am I most improved? Dean, please. Well, what are you doing, Why are you FaceTiming no, people? I'm not it's trying to FaceTime. Face Someone's trying to FaceTime me. <laughs> All behind the mic. Oh, Liv Slade, what a shot this is on the back end. Falls in. Still one down. Just another one in the head. Well played. Two goodies. 
Lead bowls by both. No, Stan Slowinski got another score over there on that far rink, Sammy, but I just don't know what it was yet. How's the rink skip by Phil Crowder? Fly along. Wouldn't have expected that after last live stream. Cartwright in the area, piece of the bowl. Oh, what a shot. Is it full back? More be close. Great bowls he's seen so far, Sammy. Stan's going to go and update the scoreboard for us now. <laughs> so two more added. <laughs> All right. We'll see a change of hands. Spencing wide will stay up and cover the re-spot. Just about on it. Cass having a close look here as to the situation. Yeah, pretty close. Same shot on here for Liv. Yep. It's in the pole underneath on the back end or turn her own. Four on the Phil Crowder rink. They're skipping ahead now, Sammy, as Liv. Oh, yeah, no, I know she got the little wiggle yeah. up. Didn't know if you saw it. No, you saw I just saw the bowl flop down, so I knew I had to have done that. Yeah, got to straighten up. Don't know if it's not just the bowl. Any closer, it's maybe Joe Favors one. It's not a great fed for them either way. Just one bowl in there. I mean, shot or not, they've got to get another one near here, JT, surely. Well, if I was probably in Cass's shoes, I'd be trying to lay that bowl out a couple of times, four, four or five. What do you do if you Joe first? She's got first bowl on this end. Mm. Back She's end draw to the Jack High one. She's favoured the forehand. Okay. But she's going to make a lot out of me. Show me our back end here. Yeah. <laughs> It's always the way, Sammy. When she's hunting. Oh, what's going on here, JT? Searching. She might have Marge's up. What's that doing? Mm -hmm. Well, somehow gets them another one in the area. Still a chance, though, for Cash to sit that underneath for four. Or sit it high on the forehand. Yeah. Either way. It's a five bowl wide target, just about. That front bowl of Liv's been nudged a couple of times. It hasn't actually turned it up, I don't think. Yeah, heaps of options here. Matt has to get this. The good thing about the forehand, though, is she gets Liv's straight fast. Liv's one. Oh, forehand. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's the better shot. Okay. She gets lives over three times. She brings lives back. Better Slade's one. Yeah. It's a turn. Trying hard now. Oh. Let's see, uh, fair attempts. All right, Joe with another one to to play. We used to upset a few on BVT back in the day, me and Jimmy, with our predictions. <laughs> upset a few with your predictions. <laughs> yeah. People think it's personal when we used to pick make a team every to win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pick a winner. Uh, I can't win, JT. You can't win. I love it. I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> we used to have fun with it, Sammy.
Maddie West. Uh, yes, yeah, Sammy has played for Northern Gateway in the past. I reckon you might have called one of those games, JT. No, I've never called region size because I'm normally playing. Still a chance, not over. Oh, I reckon that might have it's moved rocked that ball a little about bit. Three times ever since the least put it there. Surely it's moved far enough now to be shot. Close either way, one right up and one down. I reckon you were nearly playing that day we played you guys on uh, two rinks on number one yeah. green, and that you guys had to, to win the final. final. Yeah, we won it that year. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Cass Clavish, she had a good eyes, knew she was holding. They do get a, a one on the ninth end. Six to score over to 11 shots to five. Yeah, you guys played out the, on the on middle, the middle the, the full the rink full rinker. Yeah, that's right. All right, is this a the first end. time we've seen Ditch to Ditch? No, or we've seen no. A few times, because I haven't Ever caught the first half of this game. Ever since they've won the mat, yep. they have gone long and it's worked for them. Been far more consistent. For those running about scores, we'll do an update in a second. You can check out all the scores on the Bowls Now app. How's you going with the live scoring here? Doing a great <laughs> no, job today, I mate. I don't particularly like doing it, it while I'm commentating. No, neither do, no, I'm neither trying to concentrate life. on this game, and, and, then I, and then I'm trying to hear scores and stuff over there too. Great correction. Lift Slade. Just about a side toucher. It is a side toucher. Fall down on it? Yeah. Look at that. Camera down a fraction. Josh Cartwright, 15 in games. No time limit for the final. Plenty of bowls left to be played. Jay Severi's running. Oh, he's played, taken both shot bowls out over there. To pick up a couple. Is it two? I need to know this, Sam. I've got to put it in the live scoring. I was very confident that that left Ray Pretty's two bowls is the shot. Uh, I'm sure. I'm sure Phil will update the scoreboard in a tick. Stays on. Give them. Gives them one pass. As we've come up with here. Four hand draw again. Holding a couple. Not much of a target to play out either. Matty, there's eight left in the men's singles. Or oh, Westies, I should have called you. <laughs> Liv just piling the pressure on. Now, now hold three. Change of hand here. Who's me tip in the men's singles? Mary, there is no other ladies' triples games. This is the ladies' triples final. This is it. Well, based off the last couple of hands, Joe's not afraid to have a run. So, being three down and got a couple of back balls, I reckon when it's her chance. Yeah. <laughs> 
Sean. <laughs> I reckon if I tip Frankie, that'd be a very controversial tip in the men's singles. That could potentially block the little runner that no, nah, she's going forehand. Forehand searching. Arriving. I think she got here. JT. She doesn't want to slide. Oh, the jack in the nose. She wants the for jack three. in the nose for three, JT. What a shot. Joe Martin. What a shot. Sinks the jack and Well it was on. Gives no room at all to draw the shot. I mean, there is can still draw the shot, but I think Uncharted second shot, second shot second shot would be the start. best yeah. result in this scenario. She's only got one to come here, Cass. This is a big ball in the context of the game. JT. Free hit now for four. All of a sudden just has to pass the two metre mark, really. Pretty much. Joe's going to come and have a look. Oh, <laughs> made her way about not even a quarter of the way down. Just realising she's going to beat the two metre mark here to count. An absolute bomb with her first. Can she now add to the count? Won't get many chances like this to pick up a number against this team. That is going to run far enough into the count. It's four shots to Joe Martin's team. Tightens things right back up here. 11 shots to nine the lead. Five ends to play. Now women's triples final. For the 2024. Big open. The game has swung back, Sammy. Yeah, big, big conversion. We could be up for a crack and finish. Walk back to the mat. was three down. Sinks the jack for three. And then... Made the last part look easy. Surprised they got off that long pitch. end. Yeah, they got the long end off. They, <laughs> they weren't getting to play that again. No surprise. Because the Livs played it very well. That Livs played good starter again. Got better as the match has gone on. I reckon she was a little nervous at the start. Chance here for Liv to double up. A foot short with her first. Uh, each winning triples team gets $6,000 total. Yeah, good leading, Liv Slade. Good again. They're not a bad home. They don't have shot, but there's probably needed something behind. Give them some chances. Yeah, Liv Cartwright, everything to play to here. Get a roll or two out of Liv's front one. Good area, JT. Yeah, awfully close. Two Sammy. rolls out of that. One more roll. Oh, still good. Reaching weight. Got to get down. Yeah, not, not far away. Not part, oh, JT. 
He's going on here. Oh, straight. Oh, and st yes, lives what a almost ball. followed through. Not quite. Turns the round into one up. A few big conversions here. That was a great shot. What a shot. Which way is going to go about drawing this? She's on the right area here, Sammy. She's coming now. She's got the speed. What a shot from Liv Cartwright. Oh, oh what a ball. <laughs> Sammy thought she was playing the wrong hand. It's <laughs> plenty. I reckon... Uh, Game starting to heat up now, JT. A few big conversions and... Joe will be arriving on her forehand here, Sammy. Liv Carrot has made that look very, very easy indeed. Oh, you pick the forehand bit. And, and the, the reaching bit. Part. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what was in there to get right about? I missed the uh, end over there, Sammy. On the, um, but I think uh, Phil Crowder scored an, another shot. Yeah, they lead 12-5 after nine and another another end to go on. Yep. Stan Solinski leading 8-5 through eight. They also won another end there, so another score to go on. All right, let's see if Cass can... Cover these back ones here. There's still a trail on for a couple. Clear path. Yeah, gets to a pretty good spot. Okay. Had a good go with the first one. It was just missing wide. More interesting here, JT. Too close to the bowl, the jack. Oh, gets a oh. piece of the jack. Has it done enough for shot? Some good conversions in this game, Sammy. Is it enough for shot or not, JT? Don't know. Just got it sideways. Didn't really get it past. Oh, two. Two. Made a couple. Live favours two down. <laughs> to me, looking at the head, yeah, you only have to probably flop lives down once, and it's probably nearly shot, wouldn't it be? If she had to do the finger trick for both of them, it's obviously yep. awfully close. Yep. So if lives bowl flops down from the forehand side, it'd probably have shot. Oh, they've. Had a good look at it. Liv thinks they're a couple down. This would tie things up. Cass on the forehand, looking to turn theirs down. JT. Not far. Every chance here. This Not is very far. well played. Doesn't want the gap. What a Doesn't shot. Get the gap. The cracking ladies triples final <laughs> semi. Some pretty good couple ends of bowls, JT. Final worthy. What a shot by Cass. Needed that. That was a good shot. Gave it a chance to turn their own down or work back to the jack. Got a little bit of both in the end. Yeah, lead 12 shots to 9 through 11 ends. Playing a 15 end final here. <laughs> JT copying it from the from the crowd. Are you from there? the peanut, What's going from on? the peanut gallery, peanut Sam. Gallery. The peanut gallery. Sorry, JT. <laughs> <laughs>
Julie Simpson, just a little shy with a weight. Oh, I actually was hoping you were going to whack him with your laptop. <laughs> Thought about it. You know. I might need that late laptop later on in the next few days. Fair call. There might be a couple of finals coming up, JT. No leader yet. Made their mark this end yet, Sammy. Has it got more speed this time around? Yeah, this is the one. Well played from Julie. Runs all the way up. Good shot. Quinton in the men's. Uh, Stan Solowinski is leading 9-5 over Daniel Joyce. And the other one, Phil Crowder, according to the scoreboard, is 12-5 up uh, over Jay Silveri after nine. But there's definitely, I reckon, at least another end to go on the scoreboard yet. They just haven't updated it yet. Come in here, draw either side here. for the backhand, can turn the run on the way through. Forehand looks hard now with those bowls sitting yeah, short. Yeah, you don't want to just miss your line and end up crashing and having another bowl a couple metres short. You're going to attempt to play it tight here and you're still roundabouts. Something like this, Josh. Yeah, very good. Live. Oh. Turns that ball over up onto the line. Wouldn't have said that makes it easier for them, JT. No. They could really close it down if, if uh, Marge could play a similar bowl and get that jacker in the corner. Under that was very close, not far off. Yep. Becomes a little bit tricky now, does it? JT Cass might have to play a little bit more weight to hold on under that last bowl. Oh, in time for the jack. And they got the back bowl. Oh, Julie Simpson's oh, bowl just, just flopped. Down. Changes the angle. Does change the angle. can see the jack a little bit better and work off that front one up to the jack as well now. Maybe she could play less weight now Yeah, too. yep. Not badly out. Just needs to hold. Third shot. Probably again, another bowl she could potentially use. How's Joe Simpson going? Joe Martin. <laughs> I've lost the plot. <laughs> She's done well. She's got a little bit of the jack. <laughs> Makes three. Very there's good bowl. There's a gap there now between the shot bowls and the jack to go through. What an easy head for Cass to play out here. On the back end. Leave asking for it to get down. Oh, JT. Is it giving? Need to clear road. Oh. Crashes. Okay. Four. Four. I, four. I wouldn't have picked that. I'm going to swap hands here. No danger on this forehand side, really. He gets a jack high. There's a chance of making another. Safe draw. If it is four, they've hit the lead. She's quick. K 
Cass not totally stoked with something that was said there. I don't think JT, I missed that. At least three. We'll have a look at the fourth. Liv concedes three. Looks like we're measuring for the fourth. So at very least, things are tied up. Four. Yep, it is four. They've hit the front out of nowhere. Back-to-back -back fours in that direction away from the clubhouse. And with just three ends left, Joe Martin's rink has hit the lead by one shot. Just sticking with this short to medium length hand. Jack at the top of the line. I'll miss that. Yeah. That's what it was. Yeah, I'd be cranky too. It's one of my no-nos. I mean, you might have to drive me home. Dear. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's not good for anyone. <laughs> it's okay. We've only got three ends left in this one. <laughs> I, no did, I didn't suggest I wanted one, but I didn't think that would be seriously and get me one. A couple of waters late in the day for JT. It's been a long day here. Fourth stream of the game. Our first final for the 2024 Vic Open. And it's Joe Martin's rink ahead by one shot. They've picked up eight shots in the last three ends. A couple fours included. <laughs> All right, they've cut right a few down here. Looks like just missing away with the first couple. Just needs this to hold on. Yeah, I agree, Bronwyn. It's been a cracking final, and we've still got three cracking ends to go, I reckon. Shot ball on the way in here, JT. Yeah, it's the best one. Oh, absolutely nailed the line. Liv needs to get them a good second shot here at least. Fraction water is good. So Joe Martin on her way back to the mat, indicating to her teammates that they're holding a couple.
Nacho on the forehand side. Looking at a third in here. They've got all the momentum. Just needs to clear the front and this will count. They have just done enough. Gives Cass nothing to work with. Just got a forehand draw here. Julie's playing herself right in front of the camera here. Liv's going to tell her to move over. Thank you. Oh. Cass not far away here. Not far away. Yeah. 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 Bad bowl given the situation, JT. <laughs> oh, oh, that's good a classic that. bowl. Three down to one up in Got the final. Got ourselves a great final. Can Joe sit it out though? It is there. There to be sat out. Thinks he's wide. Not short. Was never getting down. Casting it. Have a closer look as to see what the situation is. Definitely holding. And this is Jack High. Has another chance to draw another here. They retake the lead. Exactly, love it out the hand, JT. It's quicker. It's quicker. That's it. Another great bar. It's only fractionally quicker. It's got enough for a couple shots. They retake the lead. <laughs> Take one out. I've already put two on the scoreboard, so let's hope it's two. <laughs> Neil Smiley had the two paddles ready to go. Gonna trust his judgment. Easily. Well yeah, couple. 14 13. Two ends to go. The women's triples final. Liv, Liv and Cass hit the lead once again. Brilliant by Cassandra JT. From a spectator perspective, Sammy. I wouldn't mind Joe Martin's team getting one here and being all square for the last end. Okay. Let's see what happens. Let's see what length they go with. Oh, they played a good end going ditch to ditch last time in this direction until Joe Martin took the jack for three. Mm, they, they had a good yeah. setup. They probably just needed one behind that end. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Going shorter, I reckon. Change things right up. It's definitely dropped a couple degrees. Has it? Yes. Oh. I'm telling you it has. All right, any updates in the men's semis, JT? They've just both completed ends, so a few scores to go on the board. One's more convincing than the other at the moment. Yeah. Fuel crowd of 13, 6 through 11, and they've just picked up the mat there again. So they're in control of that one in the far rink. It's another in the way of Stance Lewinsky. They lead 10 6 against Daniel Joyce. All right, as we saw, they've changed the length up again. They've gone shorter. They've passed with the first bowl. Julie hasn't thrown this one, so. No one's nailed it yet. Yep.
Three slanks really throwing everybody out at the moment, Sammy. First one on. Phil Crowd has got one hand on the finals berth, Sammy. What's the score there? They've Nine up. Yeah, opening up. Two to go. Up. Well, there was too much space for Julie Simpson, and she's the first one to jump on, as you said, JT. It was all important. Liv doesn't look far away. Just needs to run all the way. Very good second. Great second shot. You to be a winner here, JT. You're brave enough. Well, I, before the match started and I was on the stream, I actually said Cass's ring will win, but I knew it was going to be close. Yeah. So I can't change. Liv looking for a slight correction in weight. Not bad here, JT. Every Northly chance. Close. He's going to turn back to the jack. Good shots. Gives him another one in behind. Chances. Yep. Okay, so. Don't think about that bowl. Might make it harder for Cass. Does it straighten Cass up and play a bit firm on the back end? Could do. Try and click the bowl out, maybe. Yeah, I think that's a shot. They've got a couple seconds. Liv's back one looks to be third shot. Maybe not, by the way. Leave us still to the head. Cass is just going to try and draw as close as possible. Couple cracking draw shots last end. To pick up two. Could she do the same back in this direction on the back end this time? So, that might take away the one um, Well, that's going to make it harder to search the bowl now. That makes <laughs> up the mind. It's just going to be a dead draw. One down. She's just going to back herself to try and draw it. Just got to be around it. Oh, that's a great attempt, JT. <laughs> Only, what, another oh. six, seven inches? Might get me wish, Sammy. Just have to be better speed. I think this will be a pretty safe draw. Should take the one. 14 all. Last end. Last end wins it. Matt up. Jack on the tee. Pot it. Somehow doubt that. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so either. <laughs> Saying that, I know Liv Slade's got a good runner on her, so if they, yeah. if they had it, they might do it. After the singles game? Yep. Yeah. After the singles game, we streamed against Selena Goddard that said, I only lead, so not many people know my secret weapon. I've got a good drive. Could have come out here. Yeah, the jack's not really been rolled in a spot to... Put it in the ditch, I don't think, JT. Has you it? might have to run because the opposing lead gets a couple close. Saw that early on the day. And two, in fact, Luke, you always get on the drive. <laughs> 14 apiece. Women's triples final. Last end wins. 
It's a pretty yeah, handy, handy opener handy. from I Julius I thought it was Simpson. actually better initially. Line. I was yeah. about to go. Yep. What a cracker. Still room. Very good start. Oh, on that far rink. They just got a six. The no Dan way. The Daniel Joyce rink. So they hit the front with a few ends remaining. Of course, wow. men's triple semis also happening a few rinks over. One game's finished. The Phil, Gra Phil, Phil Crowder rink. Through to the final. Yes. Mark Stanaway and Dale Verhagen. Oh, that's a good lead ball by Julie Simpson. What's Liv done here, JT? Just uh, a little you pass. Good, they need, need one that. pass there no need matter that. what. Yep. You can attack now a little bit, try and move some balls out of the way. Marge. I reckon oh, we want to see Margie from behind the rink has done well. What are you going to say, JT? I thought they might have got some weight to clear something off the line, maybe early. Not much room to draw. No. That's what I'm kind of insinuating, <laughs> but hey. Speed's looking all right. Speed's looking real good. Oh, wow. Speed's looking all good. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. You're what? kidding. <laughs> it's fell down on top of the jack. What a shot. <laughs> still touching, is it? Cass favours them for one. There wasn't a lot of room to draw the shot. She has. Wow. Unbelievable. So it's a resting touch. There must be just a little bit of space between the Jack and Julie's lead bowl. Marge to stay on. It might come in handy. It needs to stay on. Yep. In fact, it's pretty close to the race spot back that, there, JT. That's where you're going to miss. It's not missing too bad. Gee, there's not much of a port to get through on the forehand with speed, is there? But even if Joe comes up with a bit of a two bowl play and can clear something with her first. Well, Luke still has one. <laughs> to go and just takes a look over to the crowd and pretty happy with her efforts I think JT why wouldn't you be she still doesn't want to come there where do you get to here well it depends if they got shot do they reckon they got shot Cass is pretty confident they're one then they cover he cover too just got to draw as close to the respot as possible Got to stay on. We'll stay on. How close is it getting to the respot? I think they're still down on the respot, but it does give them one all the way past. So. They're confident they've got the shot. And they've got the respot. Pretty good situation to be in at the moment, JT. Pretty sure the pink bowl of Marge Nathans is the T at the moment. I don't the problem is Joe really can't play big weight. Maybe that's the she's trying to get something in between to play the swinging weight. 
Misses with her first. It'll have to come down to her last ball. Everyone's having a close look. I'm reasonably confident we'll have the umpire regardless if their head doesn't change. So I don't think either team is giving this away, JT. No way. Uh, we're looking for a, a cover bowl here. Liv is, uh, Cartwright is standing in a spot where she wants Cass to put the bowl. Yeah, Liv's back one with her second bowl now. Becomes a really important bowl in there. Way the head shaped up as well. If Joe Martin doesn't go any quicker. I'm not sure, JT, have we seen a big drive? Probably the quickest she's gone is going back the other way a few ends ago when they picked up four. She doesn't play huge weight. Yeah. No. But just the angles. Look, there is a hole there. Just it's very unlikely with play soft the speed because that hand's just turning a little bit too much, you think. The only other thing is she sort of thinned the first one on the line there of Julie Simpson's and got up to it and maybe punched the jack sideways. Who knows? She's definitely playing quicker. Game down. Quicker weight. Needs to hold. Missing underneath. Yep, that's it, JT. Right. The players are shaking hands. What a game, Sammy. What an awesome final. Our first final decided for the 2024 Hens Light Vic Open. Cocktails all round for everybody, Cocktails Sammy. Cocktails for everybody. <laughs> it's the women's triples final. And the title goes the way of Olivia Slade, Olivia Cartwright, <laughs> and Cass Millerick. So embrace with a big hug. What an awesome game that was, JT. Julie Simpson, Marge Nathan and Joe Martin, a terrific effort to get all the way to the final. They've played three knockout games to get all the way to the day with the final just concluding. Thanks for joining us, Sammy. It's been fantastic. What a great way to you're kick off our final couple of days. Two more days of finals action to come. And you're on presentation duty, aren't you, Sammy? I don't know about that, but we'll <laughs> see what we can do. Thanks, Thanks very much for joining us on a fantastic final. Women's triples winners for 2024 Vic Open. Liv Slade, Liv Cartwright, and Cass Millerick. See you guys. I love my hands are like bowls. Whether I'm in Australia playing with my Dreamline XGs or playing in the Northern Hemisphere, winning two gold medals with my Tiger Bowls, I know I feel confident and comfortable with the line and I know they'll get the job done. The Morewell Bowling Club is your place for fun and food. Come and try bowls and make new friends. Have coffee or bring the family for lunch or dinner. The Morewell Bowling Club. Visit us today on Hazelwood Road.